All right, so we are going to show off the third graders in Mrs. Williams and Mrs. Moshak's class and their knowledge of arrays using Legos. So the first challenge students were given were to use Legos to represent 4 times 4 equals 16, and Jaden decided to show 4 equal groups of 4. 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 is 16, and that's the definition of multiplication. Natalie and Anaya really reminded me of drawing a tape diagram where, again, they drew four equal groups of four all in a line. Antonio and Nick decided to make an area model where they have four rows and four columns, which then makes an area of 16 little Lego building blocks. Great job. This group chose to look at it differently. They made the area on the inside of their Lego blocks, again, choosing a 4x4 four four array, 4 rows and 4 columns, equals 16 units. Great job. We then made the problem harder, and Anthony showed us his way of doing 4 times 4 and then his way of doing 8 times 6. He made uh, 8 Lego dots going down, 8 Lego units, and 6 Lego units coming across, acting as a width. So our length is eight, our width is six. That gives us an area of 48 Lego pieces. Great job, Anthony. Margaret looked at it the very same way and then said, I could turn my Legos any way I want and that's still the same equation. Six times eight is the same as eight times six. That's the commutative property of multiplication. Great job, Maggie. Then they received a harder challenge of doing 12 times 4, and Antonio and Nick did an area model where we have four Lego building blocks going one way, 12 acting as the width, 4 times 12 gives me an area of 48 pieces. Likewise, Jaden built a very similar one where we have a, a length of 4, a width of 12, and that gives me an area of 48. Great job using Legos to explain arrays. And we're going to let a student explain it because knowledge is her superpower. All right. Hi, Izzy. Can you uh, explain how you made 8 times 6 equals 48 with your Legos? So I, um, I took it um, and made it like this, and I counted by twos across the top. So how many twos was that? Um, four. Which makes? Eight, and I had... Um, Got, and then I count by, counted by twos down the side, which I got six. How do you know that? How does that make 48? Um, because four, because if you count by sixes, six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48. Great job. Thanks, Izzy.